What's up guys? So as you can tell, I'm in a slightly different space right now. I'm actually sneaking around at my buddy Lenny's place from Demonic Reptiles. Uh, he's away setting up for the Charlotte Reptile Show happening this weekend. And uh, I was like, dude, I want to pick a top five of my favorite ball pythons that you have in your spot. Now, Lenny is primarily a ball python breeder, although he has kept and bred tons of different reptiles over the years. We've known each other for well over a decade. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, so let's jump into this. So what I will say, first and foremost, this is gonna be in no particular order because I'm not 100% familiar with his collection. So I'm gonna be going through some stuff and being like, oh, but this one's dope too. I mean, look, at there's just ball pythons everywhere. So let's dive into this. All right, so we're gonna kick it off with this girl here. This is actually a pastel ODYB pied that's 100% het for lavender. And uh, Lenny bred her this year and proved her out. Uh, she was actually pos het lab, excuse me. And Lenny proved her out uh, this year. And this, I remember when he got this snake in, we were both kind of geeking out over it. And uh, the fact that she proved het lab is of course a giant plus for sure. It's just a really nice pied combo. So let's keep going. But what a great way to start the video, huh? This is actually a Pastel Super Enchi DG Hypo. I actually happen to have a couple of his offspring and what a spectacular combo. I mean, everybody knows multi-recessive land is really where ball pythons have been shining. And uh, this is just such a cool combo, so bright, but also super contrasted. It's just a really, really nice combo. There's some really cool DG Hypo things that have been coming out recently. And uh, just seeing something like this is just crazy. I mean, back in the day, we never thought about ball pythons looking anything bright like this. It's crazy. All right, so we got a smaller one here. This is actually a female <laughs> confusion clown. Now, Lenny actually has a pair of these and the, woo, crazy babies and this project has been really intriguing to us both and the fact that he has a pair uh is freaking awesome lenny's got some amazing female clown combos uh so these are gonna play a huge role in his upcoming seasons and i can't wait to see what he ends up making Okay guys, so this one might not look like all that much, but it's actually a Leopard OD Chocolate and it's Double Het VPI Xanthic and Pied. Now Lenny's got a handful of these that he held back from a clutch he produced last year. And as they age, they just look absolutely wonderful and clean, almost like velvety soft looking. Such a cool combo and of course tons of potential. And he actually has a, a pair to match with this. So imagine a super OD, super chocolate, super leopard, VPI Xanthic Pied. That would be nuts. Just take a look at that animal. So this is the last one right here. This is actually a yellow belly paint male. And what's really exciting about this is paint is still pretty untapped. There's a handful of people working with it. Um, our buddy Limey, who this guy came from, did the spot nose paint clown last season. He just posted an updated image of it and it looks insane. There's so much untapped potential with this project. So I cannot wait to see what Lenny ends up doing with it. This is definitely a powerful male, obviously with yellow belly, you can turn it into freeway combos and highway combos. And of course, be plugging into Pied and Clown. It's so many different options. DG, of course, just a bunch of different pathways to take with this project. So I'm super stoked to see what Lenny does. And maybe, who knows, paint might need to end up across the hall too. Guys, so this may seem kind of simple compared to what everything else has been in the video, but I had to just do a quick little bonus uh, with this little female sunset here that Lenny's been raising up. So this, this project did certainly means a lot uh, to Lenny and uh, it's cool to be able to see some sunset stuff just right across the hall. Obviously, our good friend Brian Barcheck is the one that pioneered this project. And uh, it was one of those, like when he got it in, it was kind of one of those like, yeah, man, like there's a legacy attached to this that, you know, we both came up watching Snake Bites TV and stuff. And so just this snake just has a lot of awesome meaning. And, uh, you know, I think everybody who knows about the Sunset Ball Python knows the story, but just what a cool snake. Guys, this guy didn't make the cut, but I did see that he just shed, so I figured I would show him off. This is just a VPI Azanthic Pied, and uh, what a killing looking animal this is. 
Guys, if you don't already, make sure you go follow Lenny on all of his social media, including here at YouTube, at Demonic Reptiles. I'll put all his links in the description below. Go give him a follow. Check out what he's got going on. If you like ball pythons and some really cool combos, you're going to love checking out his stuff. Like I said, Lenny and I have been friends for well over a decade, and uh, it's awesome to see where he's come from breeding reptiles, breeding ball pythons from uh, a rack in the closet to a whole room full of some amazing combos. This is what it's all about, pursuing the dream and making it a reality. So shout out to you, Lenny, and uh, I cannot wait to see what pops out of those eggs this year.